base is under attack. Our SCPs are under attack. Game's pretty hopeless. Looking a little grim, man. Yep. Mineral field depleted. All right, GG. Happens to yeah. the best of us. Did he have the base on the right? I do not think so. I think he took the gold, and that was that was it. Mm. Um, whew, that was a good game. That was a good game. You got behind, and then you you kind of battled back. Maybe pulled it even. Maybe not. His army just got kind of out of hand. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I feel like I threw the game away. If I had waited until I had Ghost to attack, and secured my fourth. Yeah. While still obtaining a third, I think it would have been fine. Okay. And then there was, there was some mismicroing in the battle. Yeah, you had a couple engagements that were that were tough. That were tough. Yep. That's one of the major. That's one of the major headaches of playing against you know a, a well played Protoss. Uh, you know, if if you make that single mistake, that Colossus ball is going to eat you up, and Force Force Field is going to keep you from getting away, and it's going to be a sad a sad moment. Yep. So it works. So, all right. So he says he needs a minute. Let me see if I can drag in a toss real quick, just to kind of sit tight, and then um, we'll put him back up so that you can smash him, get your revenge. Um, now one thing, I, I guess maybe a, maybe a criticism, maybe not. Um, but you, you sort of stopped with the with the drop harass at a point. Uh, was it because you couldn't afford to take those units away from your army, or was it because you were just kind of uh, may, dare I say overwhelmed with everything you had to do? It was more like the drops were a way to get him to fall back onto the, his base mm -hmm. and get into defensive mode. Once someone's in defensive mode, there's no point in continuing to drop them. Okay. Like if your army is spread throughout your main and you're natural, like you're not going to get dropped. Um, the point was more to buy myself time so that I could get my third up. And then once his army, so once I succeeded in doing that, the next point was to move out on the map and make sure he didn't take a third, which I failed to do spectacularly. Right. Um, if he, yeah, that's that's basically what happened. Okay, fair enough. All right, so Mike's gonna come back and play one more with us. Sounds good. If you're ready. Yep, ready. All right, good luck, have fun. So we're on Taldrim Altar. 
a uh, really, really big map. Um, I've heard it said that this map's really hard for Terran because of how Protoss is able to kind of secure uh, easy three. And the size of the map makes it difficult to kind of punish that. Uh, what's your take on that? Um, all pretty true-ish. The, the thing about this map is it is a little bit hard for the Protoss to take a fourth if you have good map control. Um, and most of the bases are fairly easy to harass and or drop. Uh -huh. And they also have, they're nice in that distance below the cliff is much farther than the distance above. So like at the natural, in order to run around to where the medevac would escape from, you have to go actually quite far. Okay. All right. So we're almost certainly going to see a, a fairly quick expansion out of you here. Yeah, I'm going to be doing the one rack fast expand. Will you ever go command center first, or is that just a no-no? Um, I don't. It just seems like very dicey. Any kind of early stalker pressure seems like it'd be very hard to hold off. Mm -hmm. uh, I also like having just the early marine to get the probe out of your base so they can't see exactly what you're doing. Gotcha. And does going command center first, does that even give you that much more of an advantage versus getting that one racks command center? I mean, honestly? I think, I think so. I, I mean, specifically I don't know, just because generally I feel like it's not a safe build, yeah. so I haven't really investigated the numbers on it, but I'm sure it does provide some kind of advantage. Man, I can't get over how many haters there are in the StarCraft community. People are talking smack on Jinro right now. For what? For, apparently for being bad. Because they're way better Upgrade than Jinro. Complete. Yeah, man, everyone's better than Jinro. Didn't you know that? Everyone's a critic. Don't you know how easy it is to just give up everything that you know and love and move to another country in order to practice a video game every day, all day, for months? Seriously. It's pretty trivial, man. Yeah. I mean, I've done it at least three times. Yeah, well, anybody could. It's... It's simple stuff. Uh, so, thing to keep in mind here, I see he's chrono boosting his gateway and I already saw the zealot leave his base. So he's definitely going to do some pressure. I'm going to try and get my bunker up in time. I'm going to not pay attention and almost lose my marine. Ready. He's going too. Interesting. Uh, run, little guy. Zealots are big, man. It would be terrifying to be chased by a zealot. So here's a here's a random question for you. When I off race as Terran, and I'll, I'll build a bunker, and then I'll try to put my SCVs in the bunker, and they just start repairing it. What the hell? <laughs> you have to hit O. Do I hit O I on the bunker or O on the SCVs? Uh, I don't remember. There's some hockey for it that makes it work the way you want it it's to. It's so annoying. Alright, I gotta ban this troll from my chat. What's he saying? 
He's just being a troll. Alright. I'm gonna transfer too many SCVs. Additional supply depots required. Alright, so four racks. Go, go, go. Man, he's put on a lot of pressure. He's probably angry. <laughs> I and he's also seen he's also seen that I can lose. So he's more confident. That sounds like little does that sounds oh. like blasphemy to me. It was a, it was all a ruse. <laughs> Just wanted to build his confidence so you could crush it again. Yep, because the only thing sweeter than defeat is defeat after hope. <laughs> That's mean. You didn't bring me on here because I'm a nice person. That's true. That's true. I don't know what he thinks he's gonna do because he, it, it, there's no way he can break me with a big push at this point. It's way too late. I think he's just generally applying pressure, which is something I'm familiar with. It's a good way to play and stuff. Yeah. I know somebody else that likes to play like that. Yep. Spend a lot of time with him. Yeah. He might be me. Possibly. It's up for debate. Additional supply depots required. And now So I've got yep, you're I've got concussive shells, I've got enough marauders that I can kill the stalkers without too much trouble. And I'm gonna have stim soon. And uh, my objective here is uh, I should have saved one mule so I can Oh he's got an observer on my army. But the, uh, the primary objective here is to apply what pressure I can, and I'm also going to get my third up. Yep. I think that's one of the most important rules of StarCraft. Apply pressure so that you can expand. Yep. And stem takes forever because of the new patch, which isn't so new anymore, but it still feels new. Okay. I'll get a double check on that. I'm actually feeling this. Uh, we're going for it. Yep. Oh, there's a Colossus. So, turns out this wasn't a good idea. Without the Colossus, I think it would have been fine. With the Colossus, not so much. On the bright side, you only committed half your half your army to that, so yeah, and you did do some damage. Probably didn't come out ahead in that exchange, but no, I don't think so. Didn't kill you. I need to remind me to talk a little bit about practicing um, and what happens when you practice too much, because I'm starting to feel the effects, and I can explain it pretty well. Okay. We will talk about that when we wrap up. <coughs> Is this your girlfriend coffee? Yeah. Oh man, I can relate with that. She's been sick for a couple of days or something. I don't really know. I don't pay too much attention. <laughs> My girlfriend famously breaks out into hysterical coughing fits every time I stream. <laughs> Nice. At Dallas, she started coughing, and in control walked up, and he was like, I recognize that cough. He must be Ben's girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> so I can see he's actually got uh, an observer right there. Ready to blunder. Well, 